Hey, what's up? This is Damien from Angel Wolf Studios, and um, it is kind of late. Um, today, I decided to stay in bed because my toe is still hurting a lot. Oh, I can't believe my glasses are dirty. Anyway, so my toe is still hurting a lot, but at this point in time, I know it sounds weird, but I think it's n my foot's not hurting because of tripping. So I know I didn't b break my toe because I could still move it, but I think what I'm the only other thing is because when I tripped, if I broke or fractured it, it should have been hurting like this from the beginning, but it hadn't. It didn't start hurting until the next day. So what I believe is that this is a, a gout reaction, a flare up or whatever they call it. Um, and I think it was triggered by me taking in so much Pedialyte at one time or in a short time frame. So, cause basically electrolytes is sodium. I usually don't have any sodium in my life, or very little. Um, everything that I get is low sodium, or no sodium, um, or no sugar added, stuff like that. And I was outside just a second ago looking at things. I think I got bit. Anyway. Um, so yeah, so I don't normally have sodium in my life. So, I think having that much sodium all at once might have triggered the gout reaction. Um, it's been triggered before, like, if I just, like, too much sugar or um, too much red meat. It's been triggered as before as well. Um... I've heard other people say theirs have been, you know, triggered by other things like too, drinking too much beer, you know, just overindulgence altogether. So, it's okay as far as I'm able to walk still, or better yet again, because this morning I wasn't able to put any pressure on my foot at all. Um... But it's getting better, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, one thing that I learned over the years is tart cherry juice. As long as it's 100% tart cherry juice, it has a chemical in it that comes from cherries that that is a uric acid inhibitor, which means um, it breaks down uric acid. And... Um, uric acid buildup is what gout is. It builds up in the joints, starting usually with your toes. I don't know why it starts in the toes. It's just a weird place to start. But, um, but yeah, so it'll start like in your, in the joints, in your toes, usually the big toe, go figure. And then, um, if not treated, it'll move up uh, to other um, joints. So, um, I'm going to be getting some tart jerry juice today to counteract that. I usually have some in the fridge at all times, just in case. But it's been ages since, like, at least a year since the last time I had, uh, had to buy um, tart jerry juice that I just didn't buy any in, in the last time so and I don't like to have things in my refrigerator that'll that are just going bad also not knowing how long the tart cherry juice would be last in my refrigerator in the first place so um so there's that but um so today I'm gonna be doing finishing up the cleaning um it looks really good out there. Um, 
I was actually ex- expecting like all the everything that I swept up to be blown back all over the place, and I would have to clean up again. But it hasn't been, so I am glad for that. Now all I have to do is I'm going to put away those boards that I said I was going to put away, and see if there's anything else that I can move around, because um, I do really want to use that back um, storage room for something um, to put my tools in me most likely uh, but I do want to use it so that's I guess that's why I'm trying to hold on to as much of the um, like scrap wood as I can um, although I, I still find it very weird that I have so much of it but I'm thinking of like taking the um, materials, the half inch materials that I have, and using that. Um, because I'd rather use the three quarter inch materials that I have to make other things that I need, like, um, like I'll be using it to make a new cart, new tool carts. And the only other thing I would use the half inch materials for would be. To make drawers but the problem with the most of the half inch material that i have they tend to warp like really easy so it's kind of hard to think that i would be able to make drawers out of warped wood so we'll see though we'll see what happens Whew. okay let me get to work see what i can do as long as i can stand uh, they do have to take medication in a little bit, but that's life. Gotta work. Okay, so here's just a look at how things are looking for now. Still have to clean this off. Although, I mean, these are large pieces that I might be using. In that table over there. So I'm going to leave that. These are some reclaimed pieces of wood. They're going to have something join them. Like those over there. And there's something down there that I want to try to figure out how to mill up. And for the most part, everything down here is clean. Oh, I forgot to show. There's those boards down there. They fit perfectly down there. So I know in the future if I need to, I can store my two by fours down there. Because they're about the same, they're the same thickness. Um, and I can of course get more down there. This um, workbench is eight feet long, so anything eight feet long I can store under here without it sticking out on any of the sides. So that's kind of cool. And then some of this. Just goes over here, sort of. Like that. That's where I keep my vacuum cleaner. And that thing's gonna be gone soon, as soon as I can design a new one. This goes with that. That's what I use to make straight edges. That's my push stick for now, or my push block, I guess. And this is my mini, my mini saw sled. Cuts, um, what do you call it? Cross cut sled. <laughs> These here are extra parts from another table that I made before I made the table, and then I forgot where they were, so I bought more lumber to replace it, and now I have extra wood. So I'll figure out what to do with this later. Um, I like to make sure that if anything. Everything's like stored away in this thing here, this trough. 
even though it's like this and this and this. This definitely has to be thrown away. Um, I should be throwing these away. More trash. <laughs> Jeez, more trash. And I'm pretty sure some of this wood has to go too. It's over here. But they can stay there for now. These will go inside with me in the trash. And yeah, that's it for outside. What you're hearing though is the larger boards like this, the, the full boards, they're still sitting out there. Um, basically, tomorrow I'm going to have to flip one of them because it's going to dry out in the sun and warp. So if you flip it over, um, it makes it flat again, as long as it's lying flat. So let's go back inside. Just wanted to show that. Um, <laughs> That was weird. So everything's being done late tonight, um, mainly because I was forced to take longer breaks today because of my foot. Um, I mean, I can still stand, obviously. I'm standing right now. But um, like through the like the more than half of the day sleeping or staying in bed, not really sleeping, but staying in bed, um, I did forget to um, render my time-lapse, the, the time-lapse itself is, like, footage from, like, almost an hour, I cut it down just a little bit, so it's under an hour, but, you know, then it's sped up, um, and I realized, we, just today, that my phone can do a time lapse, or was it another day? I think I remember seeing it before, I'm not sure. But um, my phone can do a time lapse, I just have to figure out how it works and if, like, the footage that it takes just takes up more space or something. I don't know. Um, but I know, like, the way I'm doing it now, it takes whatever I have, then I can cut up parts. Um, like, if I just take record. While I'm doing something, I can just cut up parts that I want out of it, out of the time lapse, shrink it then down, render it, or no, render it first, then when I'm putting it into the main video, I shrink it down so that it speeds up. Um, I think it goes like four times the, the original speed, I think. I'm not sure. Um, what I can do to make it even go faster than what it already does is I can take it, render it out, shrink it, render it out again, and then shrink it again. And then it'll be like super fast, but I don't know if that's something that people want to see in a time lapse. Um, I'm not doing any voiceover or anything on it, so um, you basically in this one you just see me cleaning up. Um, yeah, you basically just clean, you see me cleaning up yesterday. Um, that video is late, I'm pretty sure, because um, rendering just the time lapse took two hours. And then putting it all together into one video took, takes another hour. So it's probably going to be after midnight before that one gets posted. So you might get two videos today. So. But I am doing these daily-ish. Ish. Okay? Daily-ish. Should be work, right? <laughs> I'm not really a daily vlogger, so... Um, yeah, that's how it is. Um, so tomorrow, I'm just going to go ahead and move things around because there's nothing really left to clean except for that trough. Um... And I'm going to go ahead and finish up that uh, last table. I already have people asking for more uh, for me to do some more stuff, so this is a good thing. Um, I still need to make a couple of videos 
about my coming back besides these these road to um, road to relaunch videos um, and I also got to get on Instagram because I keep forgetting to do that um, so if you're watching this on Instagram I'm sorry that this is so late uh, you're probably not gonna see this one until like August sometime because I don't want to just load up like every single video I have in one day I want to gradually get it in there um, and that's only because I haven't figured out a way to successfully um, put like a story or a pic or post up that'll direct you to YouTube from Instagram to see the videos so I'll figure it out. I will. I promise. Or I'll hire somebody to help me figure it out or something. I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah, there's... Sorry that it's the late. Everything's been late. Um, hopefully I'm not in so much pain tomorrow. Um, I did drink a ton of uh, tart cherry juice today. Had somebody bring me some. Uh, so that should help. Um, if it does get better then I know for sure what the problem is. If it doesn't, then I also know what the problem is. And that's not such a good one. But, um... It's a thing that I gotta live with for the moment until I'm able to afford, um, health insurance. So... And it's not so much that health insurance is gonna cost me a ton. Um... Because I'm only insuring myself, so... Um, so yeah so it shouldn't cost me that much unless they're like oh well you have a business that means you gotta pay a thousand dollars a month then I'm, then I'm not gonna have any I'll save that story for another day alright I'll check you guys in the next video